Colorado we'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He's taken down at the 50-yard line. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a nine-yard gain. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. it out to his receiver in a hurry. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 37-yard line, first down. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. It has the distance, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll give it off here. Tackle at the 27. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. Steps out of bounds at the 29. And they pick up two yards. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Here's a quick throw. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Excellent awareness to get in position to make the play on the ball. The quarterback threw that one so high that the safety had all day to get there. He's got to put a little bit more heat on his throws if he wants to get the ball to his receivers. It's away, and it's a booming punt. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Colorado has a three-point lead. 
Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 47. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. From the 47-yard line, first down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Throws right, intercepted. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tackled at about the 45. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That brings up second and nine. Let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Now they're running left and a nice tackle right there. That makes it second and 10. Field. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Third down and 12. Ball on the 25-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Colorado State is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. We played one quarter, and this one's knotted up at three. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Hey, check Mike 
45. Check go, go. There's a strike complete. He's down. Third down. Third down and seven. Ball on the 42-yard line. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. The offense scoops it. Tackle made at about the 31. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. A decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. They'll work the left. He fights forward to about the 33. The halfback picks up a yard. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Let's go! Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Stand there. And it's a good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. Looking for the corner. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Down, down. Blue 42. Blue 42. He makes his way to about the 48. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. tackled at the 46-yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. He's got the corner. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Hey, 
He's taken down at the 34. State's going to take their first time out of the half. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 36. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From the 20 yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. The Rams call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go. 59 Philly. 59 Philly. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. From the 16-yard line, third down. Quick strike to the receiver. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Colorado State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. <laughs> this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buffaloes know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Throws left, picked off. Here's an opening for the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Gets out to around the 35. Colorado is going to use their first time out of the half here. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. And they got him. We played a half of football. The Rams lead 13-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense, that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And, they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me. You're not going to throw it deep. And all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tap you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. It's the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. After a decent run up the gut. They're about four yards away here on second down. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That makes it 37. to that quickly. Tackle at the 28-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition they live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Brought down at the 41. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Slings it. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. 
Number 19 brings him down on the 37 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. At all costs! Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Go! Looks left. Picked off. Big opening. He's at the 20. And he's taken down at the 12. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Recovered, makes it to the 12 yard line. Here we go, here we go. Second and nine, ball on the 12. Looks middle, got his back, and down he goes at the nine yard line. Ball inside the ten yard line. Third down. going to try and scramble and they get the sack you can't take sacks like that as a quarterback you just can't if you can't find a receiver get out of the pocket and throw the ball away this one should be makeable He gets it up, and it's good. Colorado State kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Rams continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Here he goes. Quick pass. And they make the stop at the 33. Number 23 with the tackle at the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 100. Three down. 629. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 44. Throws out and through his hands. Out of bounds, around the 50 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Good 
on play action. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 23. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Here's the eighth play of the series. Check in, check in, check in. the throw, watch the throw, watch the throw. He's out. 648. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's good for him. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 16-3, Colorado State. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check, he's coming, he's coming. I, 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 I. Fires quickly and it's picked off. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is four playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That'll bring up second and three. run there. Intelligent, decisive play to pitch it out to the tailback on the option. He had more room to run and picked up some quality yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's looking for six. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Number two was his intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The day has not gone very well for this young man. Yeah, with all these interceptions, there isn't a quarterback that's ever played that doesn't start to look over his shoulder, wondering if, in fact, they might be thinking about pulling the trigger. So far, his offensive coordinator is believing in him, but he better get going here in a hurry. And strange things can happen in these grudge match games. Now, he might have had an error-prone game so far, but guys do have a tendency to pick just the right time to write their names in the history books. He throws right. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. From the 47 yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Jones 
Just under three to go in regulation. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Let's go! Red 18! Red 18! Cut hot! They'll bring him down at the 36. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator is very happy about the execution on this last play. He gets to about the 24-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24. Decent pickup. Colorado will take their final timeout. Nice run there as they work the outside. First and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. Tackled at the 16 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Under a minute left in the game. Nice run to the left there. That makes it third and, and once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Three down, three down. 43 in the mic. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 16-3, Ram. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Colorado State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.